Hi, my name is Chris Ryan, and thank you for joining me here at the Forest of Arden. Do you find yourself on the golf course hitting shots and losing balance? Well, today we're gonna to show you three things that you can do in practice, which is gonna help you make a better balanced golf swing. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden, welcome to the 16th hole. And in this video, we're gonna show you you know, three things that are really gonna help you swing the golf club in better balance. So many of you will experience shots out on the golf course where you make a golf swing, you hit the golf shot, and then you tend to either fall maybe forwards towards the ball, you maybe fall backwards off the ball. Um, and certainly if we do this, we're gonna find that really impacts our ability to hit the middle of the club consistently. So three things that are going to help you. We're gonna start with number one. This would make perfect sense. If we're trying to swing in balance, we need to set up in pretty good balance. So how do we know whether we are in balance? Well. We're going to give you a couple of little checkpoints here. I've got a seven iron, and when I take my starting position to this golf ball, I'm really looking for the weight to be through the middle of the feet, slightly favoring the balls. That's going to give me the best chance of controlling my body and swinging in balance. Now, when I set myself up in this correct fashion, the back of my shoulders, as you can see there, aligned straight down, should fall just in front of my knees, and it should fall just at the end of my laces or the start of my toes. You will also notice that if I draw a line down from my tailbone, that line is gonna hit outside of my heels by a couple of inches. So if I'm the golfer who's got too much weight on the balls of my feet, you can see how those two relationships are now very different. And if I've got too much weight on my heels, again, you can see how that's very much changed that relationship. The line on the back of my shoulders now is much more behind my knees, closer to my heels. So if we're setting ourselves up with poor balance, it's going to be very difficult to swing in balance. We're going to be starting from a poorer position. It's going to be very, very difficult for us to then kind of, you know, organize our body and get control of the golf club. So the first thing we need you to do is ensure that you are setting up in balance. What I just did there as a little example, you can actually use as a drill. So I can take a setup and I can just feel like I rock between the heels, the toes, the heels, the toes, and just try and find that midpoint where you know, I feel quite live and my heels feel quite light. And I can just check that with a golf club and I can see that, yes, that's just in front of my knees. And if I've got a mirror, that's even better. Or you can use maybe a phone to record yourself um, to see whether you're ticking those checkpoints. So the first thing we're going to get you to do, if you are looking to swing in better balance, is make sure you're setting up in better balance. Right, let's look at number two reason why you could be losing balance in your golf swing. So in your swing, you can be losing your balance if the shape of your swing is quite severely away from where we'd like it to be. You'll notice that I've set these two alignment sticks here. And when I take my setup to the golf ball, when I deliver my club to the ball, my golf club would like to be somewhere between these alignment sticks. Now, if I'm a little bit more towards the outside, this would probably be a path which is more left. And if I'm a little bit more towards the inside, this path would more likely be out to the right. If I'm in those positions, that's absolutely fine. I'm probably gonna get some curve on the ball, but it's not really going to affect my balance. If on the way down, my golf club is outside of this corridor, so severely on the outside, severely on the inside, these positions can significantly affect my balance. This golf club is going to weigh something. You put it in a golf swing, it's got a lot more effective weight. It's gonna have a lot more pull on you, the golfer. So if I make a backswing and I'm that golfer who gets my golf club severely out this way, I'm probably gonna feel that pulls me more onto my toes. If I start to move the club out this way, I can really feel that club pulling me out towards my toes. So if you're a slicer of the golf ball, you might well hit shots where you come across the golf ball and feel like you're falling over towards your toes. Conversely, those golfers who get the club too much on the inside will often find that their body shape is what's creating that. I'm using my body shape to get the club on the inside. Again, this is going to affect my balance point quite significantly. So the second thing we'd like you to just look at if you're losing your balance is just the shape of your swing. We don't have to be perfectly, you know, exactly where we want to be on the downswing. We just have to be relatively close to that point. So this little exercise, if you're struggling with your balance, would be fantastic. And I would do this initially without a golf ball. So my setup is good. I'm back, I'm through the corridor, and that's going to help me maintain some better balance. The more the golf club is going out away from you, or in behind you, that's having a big effect on your body. Your body has to react to that. And when it reacts to that, it tends to often lose its balance. As a result, we start to then hit those shots, fall forwards, fall back, whatever it may be. So the second reason you could be losing your balance in your golfing is just the shape 
of your swing, set this little corridor drill up, and that's gonna help you swing more on the line that we'd like and maintain better balance. Right, the final thing that you're going to do to help you swing in balance is also going to be using an alignment stick. Let's show you what drill number three is. So drill number three, this is more of an awareness drill, but certainly can help you swing within better balance. You'll notice I've got an alignment stick here and I've just placed it on the ground, just pointing at the direction I'm trying to go in. Now, when I take my setup to the golf ball, I want this alignment stick right through the middle of my shoes. And when I take my setup, I can pretty much feel that I've got a little bit of pressure target side of the alignment stick and a little bit more pressure uh, trail side of the alignment stick. Now, when I swing this golf club, in an ideal world, my trace, my pressure, should move in a fairly linear fashion. What we mean by that is it would go from my trail side very much towards my lead side in a direct line. It wouldn't travel to my lead side and go onto my toes or go onto my heels. It would have a very linear fashion. This little exercise with this alignment stick can help you sense what that is like. So I would just get you to make some practice swings where you feel like at the top of your swing, yes, I've built some pressure under my trail side, but I still feel that pressure is both this side and this side of the alignment stick. As I go through and I work towards my lead side, again, I feel like I've built more pressure up under that left side, but again, it's this side of the alignment stick and this side of the alignment stick. If I'm that golfer who swings back and I move this way, I can really feel like the pressure's more in front of the alignment stick. And if I go through onto my downswing, and again, my weight's too much on my toes, I get a little bit more awareness. If you feel like the alignment stick isn't giving you enough awareness, you can actually just take your shoes off. That's a great way of doing it. You go barefoot, stand on the alignment stick, and just make some golf swings where you're aware of your pressure points relative to the alignment stick and that is going to help you swing within better balance so if you are falling over when you hit your shots we've given you three ways that you can work on that and test that make sure you set up in balance make sure your swing is fairly neutral and make sure you're practicing with your awareness i now can't hit that shot because that green kid is in there so we'll let him go and then i'll hit the shot he was actually probably pretty safe in the middle there wasn't he He's probably more in danger now he's off to the right, but let's have a go. So working on the awareness, good setup, good swing, in balance. And obviously good checkpoint is at the end of your golf swing, you should have all the weight on your left side. You should feel very much in balance. You shouldn't really be over on your heel, over on your toe. If you can do those things, use the alignment stick, you'll be able to swing in much better balance. Right, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully there was something in there which can help you next time you practice or play usual stuff as always is down below there's a comments box down there there's a like button and over here my logo click that it will allow you to be a free subscriber and it just means you won't miss any of the upcoming content thank you once again for watching we shall see you back here again soon